Hello everyone. Welcome to Q&A session 10. I am Pratap here. Before we proceed with the question and answer session, a small announcement please. If this is your first visit to our channel, please understand we are providing complete free training on supply demand zone price action course. All the training videos are available at our Neostock uh, YouTube channel. There you go to the home page and scroll down to the playlist supply demand zone price action course. So click on this playlist you will be able to access all the training videos. Even I am providing the link to this playlist in this YouTube video description. You click the link you will get into this space. And then scroll down to the bottom of this space. Here starting from lesson 1.1 all the training videos are available in an order. So please go through all these lessons one by one and strengthen your skills related to supply demand zone price action. I have also provided the link to our uh, telegram channel in this YouTube video description. Please join in the telegram channel. It will be helpful to you. Each time when we release a new video, we will provide an update in that channel. Now let's get into our Q&A session. Before we get into the questions uh, asked by our members, let me address a uh, few common questions most of the people are asking. Based on the kind of questions they asked, I already gave some replies uh, in our uh, YouTube comment section. But uh, I would like to inform some of the common questions you asked based on that I understood without completing supply demand zone price action training program you are directly taking the trades or trying to take the trades please don't do that first complete the course during this process there are certain days you are supposed to do paper trading until completion of the lesson 8, don't look into the charts. Even if you look into the charts, just try to trace whatever the concepts you land. Don't conclude something and proceed further with your own imaginations. That leads to understanding these concepts in a wrong way. I don't want that to happen. Never jump to the next topics without completing the present topic. Never conclude any concepts well in advance that you are going to learn in the next upcoming chapters. Because I have observed, because I understood based on the kind of questions you are asking, I clearly understood you guys are trying to jump further or trying to get into the trades. Don't be hurry. What will happen? It will take another one month or two months time to get into the trade. But before that, you get the perfection in your subject. That will help you make uh, good money. That will help you not getting the losses. Or even if you get the losses, uh, your loss will be minimized. I can say negligible losses. If you want to get into that stage, Learn the concepts one by one. That is the reason why in first phase of the training program, first phase means lesson 1 to lesson 10. During the first phase of the training program, until you complete lesson 8, I did not introduce any practical sessions. Only in trend calculation, after explaining the trend calculation, I have explained the practical session. But remaining lessons, I didn't especially the supply demand zone related concepts. I never introduced any practicals. When I introduced the practicals in lesson 9. Because that is the time you will combine all the concepts you learned earlier. Until lesson 1 to lesson 8. Majority of the concepts you will be learning in bits and pieces. But I put them all these concepts in a sequence one by one. And once you complete the sequence, then combine and then you will be learning the practicals. And many of your doubts you got earlier, 
you might have get answers to all those uh, doubts either during the practical sessions or during the upcoming lessons uh, when you are attending between lesson 1 to lesson 8 so please follow my advice if you want to learn the concepts in a perfect way first complete the basics without completing the basics don't get into the charts that is the reason why in the presentations i have introduced my own charts created the charts through ppt presentation with some animations animated ppts so that to bring you the best clarity about the fundamentals basic concepts once you get into the basic concepts get into the charts at the time you get some doubts because they are the real real charts real charts may be seeing sometimes some deviations from the fundamentals you learn those deviations you will understand easily because you completed all the chapters starting from lesson 1 to lesson 8 Lesson nine is very very important. It is a practical session. Whatever you learned before lesson nine, all the concepts we combine, and then you will be doing the practicals. Once you complete the practicals, I am suggesting you do paper trading for at least two to three weeks time period. You have to do the paper trading. After completing the paper trading, you feel. lot of comfortness some doubts you will get with the doubts you will get into second phase of the training program that is lesson 11 and all the doubts that are there in our mind majority of the doubts will be get clarified during the second phase of the training program when you are attending the sessions second phase of the training program what i did at the end of each lesson i introduced the practical so their practicals are lesson specific but phase 1 practicals are not lesson specific practicals are after completing all the fundamental concepts so when you are learning phase 2 training program after completing every lesson you have to complete the practicals and whatever you learned apply the concepts in the live trading session i mean paper trading session not the real live session the live paper trading session you have to apply and you have to observe the concepts what you learn and for some of the doubts you get upcoming next lessons you you will get the clarification this is the way i modeled your entire training program and without following the structure and if you directly jump into the uh, if you omit some lessons directly get into some other topic you are one way if you are learning you never get perfection in the subject and without completing phase 1 and phase 2 training programs if you are directly getting into the trading most of the time so you won't get success you have to complete phase 1 and phase 2 phase 1 and phase 2 only you have to do paper trading it's it's a simple equation you just need to wait 2 to 3 months that's it to learn all these concepts and complete the paper trading maybe hardly it will take 2 to 3 months time period there is nothing wrong in losing uh, some 2 to 3 months time for your trading point of view because you are getting perfection in the subject because market always provides the opportunities every day you get some opportunities but once you get into the market with perfect knowledge your losses will be minimal and your uh, profits will be maximum that is the way always you will be in the trade so you should be you all should follow this because i clearly i am understanding based on your questions without completing the course you are asking the questions so how can i answer all those questions this is the important point you have to understand that's why when i am asking some of the people i am asking the question which chapter you are currently learning because i want to know based on that only i can give you perfect advice if you have completed the course in a structured manner some of the questions you are asking you may not be asking those questions at all 
because your mind will be thinking in the right direction so don't jump into the charts especially until you complete a lesson 8 don't jump into the charts only in the trend related concepts only i introduced a live session early early practical session that is required only for the trend calculation only you have to get into the charts but remaining all the chapters you have to get into the charts only from lesson 9 onwards hope it is clear to everyone now the remaining questions let me ask whatever i did not address because i want everybody should also know about these answers see the first question is a very big question but let me read hello pratap sir i am a student of your supply demand zone price action youtube course see you need not be my student even if you are not my student still i will answer the questions don't worry guys i know that supply demand zone is a very powerful concept in trading to make high return on the investment roi hi roi because currently i am doing paper trading and observing this but i have some doubts in our high liquidity zone stocks with fine tuning the zone we have an average roi of 6.1 yes that is what we been observing from from the month from the month october onwards because from october onwards we are maintaining the excel sheet but i observed this even earlier itself but I, i need to provide you the proof right that's why from the month october onwards i am maintaining the excel sheet not only i am maintaining the excel sheet every day i am doing hlq analysis also after the market hours so previous report whatever the stocks high liquidity zones we generated those zones you will be using in today's trading and today after trading hours i am doing that analysis how many trades we got out of them how many are successful or how many are fail how much return they have given how we fine tune those zones because people want want should learn how to fine tune in a perfect way more and more they listen they learn better and better way sometimes people do fine tuning in a wrong way that way they lose the money i don't want that to happen that's why lot of videos daily hlq videos if you are started listening you will also understand the way how i am fine tuning at least you get uh, my experience over a period of time so that's why we are getting 6.1 roi 6.1 roi we won't get just like that this is a complicated software algorithm several years of my research and finally we were able to identify a concept that gives 6.1% don't think that we are getting easily Be- because by seeing the software reports you may feel okay it is very easy to get it's not easy to get so much of analysis the software will be doing it is analyzing the data from the year 1994 till the date these many years data it is analyzing from yearly time frame half yearly time frame quarterly time frame monthly time frame weekly time frame daily time frame so 125 minutes 75 minutes 25 minutes 15 minutes and 5 minutes all these time frames it is analyzing the data and it is doing based on the algorithms whatever i have developed based on that it is doing a lot of checks so many things it is doing and finally it will identify the stocks and it is analyzing 200 stocks out of 200 every day how many high liquidity zones we get hardly 2 or 3 or 4 sometimes we may get 5 stocks majority of the times we get maybe some 2 or 3 or 4 that is the ideal scenario so today's data when we analyzed we got only two stocks we have to see out of these two what will happen on monday see 200 stocks for all the 11 time frames after analyzing all finally we got only two stocks on a daily and 75 minutes time frames that's why it is a complicated algorithm because you are getting those two stocks you feel like okay we got the list what is there in that you may feel now if i ask you do manually 
probably it will take one year for you, one year time for you to identify those two stocks today stocks after one year you will identify then you people will understand how painful it is because why i am telling this point people may think it is easy to get roi 6.1% because i am giving you the software results but that is not easy there is so much of uh, complicated algorithms i have developed based on that we are getting these uh, stocks okay next uh, continuation after paying all charges and uh, taxes at present uh, i am not calculating the the charges and taxes in this roi 6.1 maybe if you add the taxes everything probably this uh, remaining value will be reduced depending on your 30% income tax depending on your uh, uh, security transaction charges your broker commissions other documentation related charges definitely the value will come down but before paying uh, these charges what is the value our zone is giving that is most important okay after paying all the cha uh, charges and taxes and adjusting the stop loss assuming 80% success rate if you get an average of 1% roi with 20 trades in a month remember 20 getting 20 trades in a month i don't think it is a practical scenario see software point of view the execution point of view everything is okay but practically i don't think you will uh, you will trade every day sometimes you may take a break sometimes uh, you place an order just narrowly you miss last time when i placed an order just with five paisa difference i missed the trade sometimes it will happen sometimes before you place the order itself uh, it just uh, reach the entry point and again it will leave fraction of a second it will leave that way you that way before submitting itself uh, submitting your order to the exchange itself you miss the trade sometimes it will happen because order flows are such a strong i'm just giving you some examples how you can miss the trade sometimes not every time sometimes rare situations that's why you, you cannot take 20 trades for a month maybe uh, may, maybe 14 trades or 15 trades in a month on, a, on an average you can take because you have 21 days or 22 days uh, trading sessions in a month out of these uh, trading sessions probably you may get a trade maybe 14 or 15 trades you may get out of these 14 or 15 maybe because we are saying 80 percent success rate sometimes there is a possibility that the 20 percent of failure rates you may get sometimes you may take uh, trades that hit the stop loss maybe two trades or three trades so finally how many successful trades you will get hardly you may get maybe around 12 trades in a month that is the practical way that is the way you need to think you should not see what everything is happening see every day we are identifying the stocks whether they are really working as per high liquidity zone or not we are checking but they are not the trades some trades you might miss but here two things we have to do one thing is how our software is working second thing is how many my trades practically i was able to successfully able to place there is a difference between the two because we can't work like machines right we are human okay where if we get an average one percent roi with 20 trades so don't consider this 20 trades that is practically it is not valid and if we i'm i'm talking about high liquidity zone trades not the other trades you may take the other trades i'm talking about only hlq trades and if we re, re, re what is it reinvest okay if you reinvest our profit for every next trade okay if it is cash trades you can reinvest but if it is uh, uh, your uh, f and o trades until the margin amount is ready you can't reinvest that is another practical problem we may think 
see when we are thinking in our imaginations we may feel like okay everything will happen but that is not the case in practical you can't reinvest your money if it is a fund worth rate that way you have to understand okay if you reinvest we double our money in 3 years by investing in a high growth business with reasonable valuations okay if it is possible then why big investors and big business houses like tata birla didn't enter in the stock or forex trading business using supply demand zone is there any liquidity problems for them because they have a big money or something else they can easily set up a big firm in dubai with thousands of traders they can trade in any market not only indian market if they based in dubai if my this calculations are wrong then what is the minimum to minimum roa expectations one can have in a high liquidity zone after paying charges after paying charges you have to calculate you know the taxes and all right charges based on that you do you are getting 6.1 so after paying how much you you have to calculate finally what is the amount you are going to get first of all you know your investment how many how much charges we, we, uh, brokers are charging you will be knowing you can calculate that but here you are saying uh, the big investors like tata and birla they are not in you are saying that why they are not entering into the stock market they are they are entered into the stock market they have the companies who said they didn't have the companies let me show you with the help of our software itself let me show you neo stock software so here we have a uh, indices i have different indices let me select uh, tata group see these are all the list of tata companies if you look if you look into their tata companies see how many companies they are having their business sectors everything you can see see here financial sector it is a investment company into the finance we have tata investment corporation limited is there they are already doing that business they have mutual funds are there big companies they don't invest like how we invest that point you have to understand our way of investment is different their way of investment is different they do lot of calculations why they do lot of calculations because their liquidity is high so tata is having companies even birla also you asked about birla right let me show you we have aditya birla group is there they are also having finance aditya birla capital is a finance company investment company so all these big companies they have investment groups that is what you have to realize hope you got the clarity and the next what you are saying okay why can't they trade based on our high liquidity zones high liquidity zones is my algorithm it's not tata's or birla's algorithm it is the algorithm not available in the market that is one thing and even if i give this algorithm to this uh, tata group i don't think they will uh, make use of this they will use our software in a different way not for high liquidity zone trading they want to use their way of using our software i already provided the features in the software so when i interact with big financial companies as per those features i will be interacting with them how it will be useful to them 
but whatever the future i am sh- showing you that is only for retail traders point of view the high liquidity zones why because when tata is investing they do lot of other calculations demand and supply zones they will use in a different way not just uh, see in demand and supply zone what we are doing we are identifying institutional order flow tata 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 company or birla company they are the institutions their invest com- their investment companies are institutions when they invest their money a pattern will be formed that is what i explained in lesson 2 in our training program clearly i explained in lesson 2 and the lesson 1.1 is the basis there i explained how prices will be moving in a narrow range in lesson 1.1 i explained okay lesson 1.2 and 1.3 they are re- candle related concept but lesson 2 is, is the most important concept i don't know how many people really concentrated about the lesson 2 the entire logic behind our supply demand zone price action concept i explained in lesson 2 if you would have properly concentrated the lesson 2 if you would have followed every word by word i explained if you would have followed you would have understood clearly maybe i didn't use the word like tata company or birla company but i said institution if tata company or birla company when they are investing in the market what happens they have to fight with an- another institution maybe tata is trying to buy and birla is t- trying to sell there is a fight happens between them that is what i explained in lesson 2 but during the fight one has to be dominated how they will dominate that is what i explained imbalance imbalance in the prices earlier when there is a fight between them there is a in balance the prices are in balance i and in balance the moment one of them is dominated what happens the in i and in balance will become imbalance i am i am imbalance once there is a imbalance immediately we identify a zone we retail investors will do that why we do because there are pen- pending orders next time again there is a retracement whatever the tata group orders are there pending orders along with tata tata group pending orders we will also place our order so prices will move up when tata group will exit as per their calculations they will exit but uh, the order flow in the tata group is very high or small we don't know that's why our software algorithm identifies maybe in that particular zone there is a high liquidity is there or in that particular zone there is no confirmation of high liquidity if there is no confirmation of high liquidity our software doesn't list that st- zone as a high liquidity zone every tata group zone may not be a high liquidity zone every birla group zone may not be a high liquidity zone you will find high liquidity zones once in a while in a single stock every day you won't get if you would have observed nifty and bank nifty last 4 or 5 months october to current month yeah five months in last five months only once we got that to in bank nifty high liquidity that is what happens every stock won't be high liquidity every time but if a stock price is moving near high liquidity multiple entries we will get multiple trade opportunities we get in that stock once prices go away from that particular zone we don't know again when it will come back to that zone sometimes it may take one month time two months time till that 
you never find that stock you might be thinking why we are not getting a trade in that particular stock which is my favorite stock you may feel like that but here we are not loving in we are not in love with any any stock we are not in love with any stock what do we want okay the stock is high liquidity or not whatever the stock we don't care it is a high liquidity we got an opportunity okay let us make use of that opportunity that is how we are doing with the help of our software but we are saying why tata tata is not using these high liquidity zones birla is not using high liquidity zones you cannot compare that it is a tata who is supposed to create a high liquidity zone it is birla who is supposed to create a high liquidity zone when they create a high liquidity zone in a particular stock then we will be making use of that stock because the tata investment company is going to invest in reliance say for example in reliance company they are supposed to create a high liquidity zone when they create the so much of order flow is there in that how do we know there is so much of order flow there are some price action clues that our software identifies by analyzing the old data from 1994 step by step day by day it will come time frame by time frame it will come and finally with a lot of calculations it will identify what it will identify that could be a high liquidity zone our software is not saying it is a high liquidity zone it is saying that could be a high liquidity zone that's why we are saying the success rate is not 100% we are saying maybe 80% chances whatever software is saying 80 80% level its chance it whatever it is showing it could be successful sometimes software identifies a zone as a high liquidity but that may not be a high liquidity zone in such kind of situation the zone will violate easily that is what we been seeing but whatever it is the point you have to understand you are thinking in a different way why tata will become and make use of our software it looks like you, uh, you know based on your question what i understood is uh, the uses of our software you are thinking in a wrong way the uses of the software whatever the high liquidity zones i am showing that is useful for retail traders because we follow the footsteps of tatas and birlas i mean the tata and birla investment companies that is what we are calling as institutions so we are following the footsteps of the institutions in that when we are following where the more their orders are there we are seeing where the places where more orders are there but how do they uh, uh, create the zone create the zone means they want to place huge amount of money why they are placing only at that time they have their own calculations if tata is in a particular say for example in reliance at to at around at 3000 rupees if they are feeling like there is a order flow they have to place a strong order flow they have their own calculations their calculations are not based on our invest not based on our supply demand zone price action their calculations are based on several fundamental concepts or economic concepts <coughs> excuse me and our our the other information they got during their analysis they have a research team every every investment company is having research teams based on that they will do the analysis but our software still it is useful them in a different way where uh, other zones are there when they are placing how to break them to break that particular zone how much order flow they have to keep they will be thinking in a reverse way how we are thinking exactly the reverse way they will be thinking not for placing the orders they use they will not use our software for placing the orders they will be using the software for breaking the zones that our software is showing our software shows high liquidity zones if tata company wants to place an order 
there is a high liquidity supply zone but they want to buy because their analysis team identified there is a, there is a huge opportunity but there is a high liquidity zone and they have to break because it is a high liquidity zone they will their team will decide how much order flow they have to place there if that much order flow if they place does it going to work out for them or it doesn't work out for them is it a big risk for them that way they do the analysis not the way how we are doing the analysis see this is a complicated concept it is the way how you are thinking you are you are telling that what you are actually thinking is the retail traders concept you are trying to apply to institutions you should not do that this concept is used by institutions this concept is used by retail traders the way how retail traders are supposed to use the way institutions are supposed to do there is a big difference is there you cannot combine both probably you will understand those scenarios once your experience grows because as per what i understood last 3 years you been into the market so that is not good enough to understand all these uh, scenarios or the market dynamics probably once your experience goes to up to maybe 8 years or 10 years level you will start understanding the real dynamics in the market hope uh, you got the clarity from my explanation so now let's get into the next question in this question so deep information about supply and demand thanks a lot shall we add volume profile volume fibonacci for additional confirmation actually i addressed this question a long back again it is a repeat question see there is a concept called there is a playlist called the terminology of neo stock let me show you in neo stock home page or even you can go to this there is a playlist right go to the playlist all the playlists are available here in the playlist if you click this link playlist here one of the playlist is uh, our supply demands on price action course similar way you have a q and a playlist all if you if you click on this view full playlist all the q and a videos so far released will be available to you in an order because i am keeping all the videos in an order similarly you have a playlist called terminology of neo stock supply demand zone report you click on this playlist you will be seeing all the important videos i kept all the important videos so in this video just uh, you just search volume see you are seeing a video on 23rd october volume versus zone i explained whether do really we need to use volumes or not volume should be used in two different ways the way how we are thinking about volumes is different the way how you should think about the volumes for supply and demand zones is different and for uh, traders they think volumes for the trade point of view, a specific trade point of view a signal is generated to support that signal volume is required or not that way you will be thinking that is trade specific but volumes in supply and demand zones are not trade specific they are script specific your script for example tata steel is a script in that script how the volumes are overall volumes the overall volumes compared to the other stocks they have a good volumes then it is an indication that institutional participation is there in tata steel 
wherever institutional participation is there such kind of scripts only your supply demand zone price action concepts work very well mostly in uh, f and o stocks whatever the stocks are there in f and o something around 182 stocks are there as on today so in all those 182 stocks volumes in general they are good in general maybe few stocks volumes may not be good but in general they are good that everything i explained in this video please go through this video but still i will give some explanation with an example with a live example i will give you then you people will get clarity because always the biggest problem is people try to mix supply and demand zone price action concept and indicator related concepts the way how you asked about volume or volume profiles or fibonacci retracements all these are all indicator supporting concepts you may ask a question how indicators are different from supply demand zone price action price action is different indicators are different price action why we are saying they are exactly what to say what is the right word to say uh, they are on time maybe i don't know this is the exact right word or not they are on time on time means when the price comes exactly at that particular point of time what is going to happen you are in a position to tell they are just on time maybe people in a software uh, uh, people we use a terminology called zit j a t zit just in time just in time price action is like just in time in time they will tell you what is happening there won't be any delays just in time but uh, indicators are not like that indicators are lagging let me prove that now itself i will prove why indicators are lagging compared to the price action concepts how much lag an indicator is really showing i will tell you in an example so here our neo stock software supports supply and demand zone it also supports indicators also i developed both see all these are all we have different different indicators i already developed let me look into maybe most of you are having familiarity with macd indicator moving average convergence and divergence macd indicator so what i do in macd indicator let me search because futures again if i search it takes more time let me use only nifty 50 in nifty 50 stocks only I'm, my software is going to search now so here the goal is why i am searching i want to find the stocks in nifty 50 currently today in today's data how many macd signals are generated because you want to take a trade based on macd okay it gave the result three stocks currently the first one is asian paints okay let me select this asian paints see here this is a asian paint song stock this is the current price now signal is generated macd signal is generated what which signal it is generated long signal it is suggesting you to buy okay when you want to buy you get a doubt in your mind what kind of doubt is it supported by the volume or not if it is supported by the volumes probably you will you will take a trade maybe the volumes you measure in a different way either maybe direct the raw volumes or maybe you do some kind of average and you do you check the volumes or maybe you will use volume profiles in different ways it is up to you if the volumes whatever the technique you are using if it is supporting probably what you do monday you will take a trade here where here you will take the trade monday but is volumes are really supporting let us check even that also so your stock is asian paints i am going back actually why i selected asian paints is uh, 
already asian paints one one person asked the question so that's why i kept the chart already it is there i have selected this stock so asian paints i am checking the indicator data this is asian paints indicator data what is that signal it has given the signal type okay forget about they are not required for you so finally long signal what we are interested volume what is the volume see earlier the volumes are very less like 9 lakh even 89000 again 9 lakh 7 lakhs okay 7 lakhs means 7 lakh plus 9 lakhs plus see all of a sudden volumes are doubled it is 17 lakhs 15 lakhs so if you look into the volumes all of a sudden volumes are increased and your signal has given long signal so now volumes are in your favor and the signal is long signal immediately what you do monday you will plan a trade somewhere here generally you know people what they do higher high some techniques they will use if there is a higher high monday it is a confirmation volume supported higher high is formed you will take so somewhere here you will be taking a trade let me draw a horizontal line just a little bit above if prices goes you will take an entry and what is the stop loss for this you will use some junk techniques what is the junk technique because macd does not support stop loss it is not inbuilt in that concept you will take some other concept maybe there is a concept called atr bands with the help of atr bands you will prepare that is what everything i explained in that video which is there in our playlist which is irrelevant why it is irrelevant please read that please go to that video and listen my explanation it is again repeating the same is waste of time but what i am trying to prove we price action traders we identified a zone here see here we have a rally base and rally candle this is a hidden body at the hidden body it become a rally candle from this close you get the body entire candle is a leg out candle rally candle rally base rally it is a short candle even the body is more than 75% still we are considering because it is a small candle and if you go to 75 minutes fine tune you get even better clarity excellent zone is there inside that means order flow is there see here you have rally base rally candles and in this area orders are getting picked up in this area and this zone is working again and again maybe it could be a high liquidity zone now let us don't get into those discussions but what it is happening this zone orders so here we took a trade now we have clarity what is the entry what is the stop loss what is our target all these things we have the clarity but such kind of clarity is macd is giving no because it is not giving clarity you are taking whether really there is orders are there you are taking some decision and you are taking an entry see the how much it lagged from here to here we got price action gave that's why i told you price action is jit just in time it is a jit price action is a jit jit means just in time in time we, we took the trade maybe we took the trade here we took the another trade here because institutional pending orders are there they will push the prices up we know that but uh, indicators they doesn't know about this because indicators are lagging they didn't give signals here this is the right place now you tell me buying in this zone is uh, better or buying uh, prices already more 3% above 3% prices are moved from here to here 3% there is a change see here here somewhere 2780 and the current price is uh, 2870 around 90 rupees difference is there 90 rupees difference means uh, definitely it is more than 3% 
after 3% move you are taking a trade as per the indicator because indicators are lagging after 3% price move only they confirmed the signal but our price action confirmed 3% before the move itself this is the place you need to buy that is what we been doing all these days right we don't bother about the volume volume doesn't play here what we know there is a <coughs> excuse me what we know there is a zone zone is having institutional pending orders how much order flow we don't care if there is no sufficient order flow the zone will be violated no problem because we will exit with the minimal loss we will we will come out we know where exactly the order flow is ended but uh, he is uh, an indicator he is able to tell you that no if your luck is good the prices will be going further up and you feel it is a successful trade because my trade is successful only because i identified increase in the volume or maybe my volume profiles are very good in that particular location or maybe my fibonacci retracement or something has suggested me or confirmed me not suggested confirmed these are all confirmation tools volumes volume profiles for the indicators indicator gives a signal further signal confirmation point of view you will take some of these concepts like volumes or volume profiles or fibonacci retracements or even some other many other concepts also there even confirmation indicators also there because they confirmed that's why my trade is successful that is what you will think but see here what happened ema is there currently market is in bearish there are higher chances that from this ema price over extension is completed see earlier there is a price over extension now price over extension is completed now prices may go down that possibility is also there if the prices goes down suppose if the prices goes down immediately you will think why my volume profile is not worked or why my volumes are not working or my why my other confirmation techniques are not working this is the way we will feel if it works okay you feel because sometimes it will work what happens the even the over extension complies now trend might be changing from here generally if this is a high liquidity zone the high liquidity zones are having capacity to change the trend because they are not letting the prices go down at the time trend will be changing now prices will go beyond this moving average and a new trend will establish now again retracement you get a long opportunities here now it is a short opportunity but we cannot tell now this really it is going to break this moving average and go up and change the trend even if it goes above there is a supply zone we have a leg in base candle and a drop the prices may go up to here and from here the prices may go down that possibility is also there if this supply zone Uh, violates then trend will be changed see here already we have a supply zone here let me tell you the first supply zone is violated now earlier the trend is downtrend now downtrend is changed to sideways here two conditions are there sideways once the downtrend is changed to sideways after that from sideways it will go to uptrend i also told you in the trend calculation from sideways once again downtrend will be continued that possibility is also there that's why it's a very tricky concept never i clearly told i warned also during the training trend related training sessions those who attended trend classes perfect way you might have remembered this point if a downtrend to sideways from sideways it will move to uptrend but not always down trend to sideways again sideways once again it will continue the down trend that possibility is also there but at present asian paints the trend is changed who changed this zone maybe this is a high liquidity zone that's why multi testing it is supporting currently 
and further again the trend change also this zone will continue maybe but when the real trend changes this supply zone is violated or maybe prices go to the supply zone again it will come down until this particular zone after that again it will give a push that possibility is also there but whatever it is taking a trade here which trade macd trade with the help of volumes or volume profiles is it safe or dangerous now you tell me it is the question i am asking you you can comment in the comment section now i compared in this example i compared price action concept and indicator concept price action concept based on our supply demand zones we are using indicator concept based on macd i am using supported by the volumes which is dangerous here is it safe to take macd when you don't have the clarity where to keep the stop loss people keep different techniques below this candle they will keep the stop loss if the supply pushes what happens again prices will be coming up to here that possibility is also there so anyway you all should understand indicators are lagging i developed several indicators i been using indicators from the year uh, 2002 onwards i am using indicators but still i am saying indicators are not good because i have seen i did a lot so many softwares i have developed on the indicators how to reduce this lag what is the best way we can take so many algorithms finally i felt all those are all useless hope you got the answer to your question the biggest problem is you know the this question is asked by the people previously who used indicators a lot not get enough success still believing okay volumes and all they do some kind of magic and learning supply demand zone price action not only supply demand zone any other price action concepts also if you are learning then you will be for some days you will always feel maybe can i integrate my zone with the volume related concepts that kind of questions will come to our mind if you attend the second lesson 2 in our training program properly you will realize all these volumes of volume profiles they are just bullshit such kind of feeling you will get if you really understand the essence i explained in lesson 2 see according to me lesson 2 is the best lesson among all our training lessons one of the best lessons but i don't know how many of you are really able to understand that lesson because i gave the actual reason behind the supply demand zone price action in that lesson how actually institution order flows we can identify what is making the difference they are all not re related to the volumes they are all related to the order flows how many order flows are executed they are all depending on how much supply at present prices are reaching how much supply is there assume it is a weak supply what happens you will see a strong rejection so this enter strong rejection is moving not because of a strong order flow in this area it's because of weak supply in this area that could be a reason see understanding demand and supply is very critical here everybody feel oh, okay supply demand we already learned in our school days but that is not the case you have to understand how they are changing when there are changes what kind of behaviors are going to takes place that kind of clarity you have to build in our mind it is not a complicated concept simple concept but only thing is you need to think out of the box that is what i am trying to say okay let me stop this question here 
so instead what i am suggesting you is uh, go to this playlist terminology of neo stock supply demand zone and uh, on 23rd october the volume versus zone please listen that video so let me go to the next question in this question thank you sincerely for your uh, insightful explanation and valuable insights into the time and expense investment required for such worthwhile endeavor truly hats off to you sir thank you thank you and next i wanted to offer a constructive suggestion have you ever thought about developing a trading view indicator with paid subscription model <laughs> okay i already thought about it and i felt there is no use at all because i have seen some people developed trading view indicator they say trading view indicator but you know what will happen they just draw the zones their scripts will draw the zone on the chart but that is not what we want that is the least bother for me drawing a zone in a chart is the least bother how much time it will take to draw the zone in a chart you identified a zone you identified a zone in such a way the zone is a high liquidity zone and the trade is going to be successful such kind of zone you identified how much time it will take to draw that zone hardly 10 seconds 20 seconds or even 1 minute not more than that right then why people crazy about drawing the zones because i have seen some people asked me even some people earlier they put kush, uh, some questions regarding this in the comment section also and even i have seen one or two people try to promote some of those people who developed some scripts in the trading view drawing in the zone in the trading view is the least bothered then what is bothered identifying the zone by calculating the trend by calculating the price direction by calculating the curve that is nothing but uh, location and also calculating the odd enhancer score when it is possible it is possible only when you do multi time frame analysis trend can't be identified in the current time frame where you are seeing so let us assume in trading view currently you are seeing daily chart trend will be there in weekly chart at present trading view does not support multi time frame analysis that is a drawback in trading view trading view does not support multi time frame analysis second thing trading view does not give their original source code to you to build the logic they will give you some fine script they already developed from with their uh, source code they developed some scripts and using that scripts by making use of those scripts you can develop your further programs that means already they cut if you are a programmer they cut your wings and they gave you the script it's like giving a script means they cut your wings and they are telling you to fly without wings can you fly exactly the same way if they don't if they don't give access to their original source code how can we develop complicated uh, complicated algorithms like the algorithm i developed for this uh, supply demand zone price action top down analysis strategy builder you cannot build the algorithm with their fine scripts fine scripts are their limited features but i have the original source code for my software and i am using a high level uh, programming language java i can develop any kind of logic using that i already told you in the video one i think q and a one video i didn't exactly remember that day i shown you i i run the software and i shown you how many lines of code we have written i think over 1 and 1/2 lakh are close to that lines of code we have written for this software 
that is a complicated logic such kind of logic it is impossible to develop in trading view if trading view gives their original source code yes we can develop definitely in their original source code they might have used it maybe c++ or .net or java something like that high level programming languages they might have used so using that particular programming language we can develop the code whatever the code i have written we can integrate with that code but using fine scripts whatever they have given it is impossible to develop whatever i developed in this software that is the reason why people are limited with that drawing the zones only they stop it there only they are not able to move further because of these limitations they used some kind of filters and trying to do something but it it's not working in their softwares properly but today we are 11 time frames we are analyzing our software analyzing at a time 11 time frames it is able to analyze i need not keep that limit but okay because of performance related issues why performance related issues because we are analyzing from 1994 onwards trading view how many candles they are giving hardly 10000 candles or 20000 candles they are giving that's it it's not possible for all the 11 time frames if you are analyzing in trading view trading view also will take if not 8 minutes or 9 minutes at least it will take 4 minutes or 5 minutes some improvement will be there because they might be using high end servers but at the same time the load on their server also important heavy load on their servers again that will degrade the performance of the application it is impossible to develop with the help of that so already i thought about all these conditions all these scenarios if really if i have a software whatever the software i have if i would have integrated i don't require to limit to only indian related data i can get any stock exchange data in trading view see whatever the final results i got if that final results if there is a way to integrate with the trading view maybe that work we can do that but again to 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 do that what is the use there is no use i need to have my own data to do the work each exchange i need to maintain the data at present i didn't have that clap capability what i am doing i am just doing only for nsc data only why i am looking for a buyer for this software the buyer should have provide services to different countries maybe assume my buyer whom i want to sell this software if he is providing services to indian stock market if he is providing services to uh, european market us market or or middle east or singapore australia he is having the data now my software can easily integrated with all these stock exchanges now my software will generate high liquidity zones for us market it will generate for european markets it will generate for middle east countries it will generate for singapore or australia for all these countries it will generate we need not change any algorithm right only just data is feed is changing that's it so all the customers will make use of our software that's why i am looking for such kind of customers already one of the subscribe one of our uh, subscribers he interacted with me he is saying that like he is having some contacts but it will take some time for for him to talk to the other people but he told me there is one chinese customer uh, uh, investor is there immediately i said no i won't sell my software to any chinese customers this is my rule i don't want uh, even whatever the money he gives i don't care except chinese any other people i mean uh, other people means major countries i'm talking about maybe we, we can we can uh, uh, sell to uk people or we can sell to german people we can sell to french or us or singapore 
Anyway, I'm not really thinking about that. It takes some time to get into that level. Already it is there in my plan for next two years. It's my target. Meanwhile, if anybody gets, okay, it's a bonus to me. So let me come finish his uh, remaining question. This could sig significantly elevate overheads costs such as that's true storage and other expenses. Currently downloading the data, especially for F and stocks, takes up approximately eight to ten minutes, which can be quite consuming. Yeah, that's true because we are analyzing. Uh, 200 stocks from the year 1994 to till the date for 11 time frames we are analyzing. Not only we need to analyze the 11 time frames, all these 11 time frames data we need to put them in a synchronized way. One time frame should recognize the other time frame. That is the critical logic, complicated logic. One time frame should know this is my parent time frame. That means the one minute. Uh, say for example 5 minutes time frame should recognize this is my exact 15 minutes uh, time frame related object that 15 minutes again should recognize this is my 75 minutes time frame object such kind of synchronization should be there that is a complicated logic when you do such kind of uh, analysis it takes time earlier it took a lot of time for me I changed the logic made optimized it and finally it came to 8 minutes or 9 minutes level it will increase if more and more data comes again the time also will increase maybe after one year or two years the five minutes data one minute data all this data will add and uh, at the time it may take maybe 12 minutes 13 minutes for processing but trading view is not doing that trading view is only just uh, to improve the performance they are giving you access to only last 20,000 candles and if you analyze only last 20,000 candles how can we get perfection in identifying high liquidity zones? That is the point you need to understand. Because I am analyzing uh, from the year 1994 onwards. So identifying high liquidity zones could be higher accurate. If less data if you give and if you ask me to identify high liquidity zones, the references are not good enough to identify the quality of our zones. Okay? Which means time consuming, automating the process to plot levels on various time frames and uh, indicating when different time frames. This is the problem with actually trading view. There is a trading view does not support multi time frame analysis. This is the point you have to observe. Even in that Q&A one uh, 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 video also clearly I mentioned that point. I already told my software is much superior than uh, trading view because trading view does not support multi time frame analysis. So instead of manually identifying these levels across different time frames, so such a tool could streamline the process. Just a thought. It's okay, good thought. But the thing is, I already thought about all these scenarios. And finally, what is the best I did that? Because of that, I have some overheads. I agree with that. But still, we are able to move on in a better way. The next question. Same person? Yeah, same person again asked. Dear sir, with respect to Asian paints chart and daily time frame, yeah, for your question only I opened that Asian paints chart with observations of drop on December 23, December 23, 2023. Actually, in December 23, 2023, I did not find any drop candles. Let me show you. See, this is a December 23, Friday. This is a rally candle. Sorry, this is a December 22, not 23. Actually, December 23 is a holiday, Saturday. 
This is December 22. So there is no drop candle. Maybe I assumed, okay, this is somewhere here. You are assuming uh, there is a, this is a lagging candle. We have base candles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. After 8 base candles, a drop candle has been formed. After that, another drop candle. Again, you have base candles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 base candles. Again, a drop candle. Again, another drop candle. So that is what actually you referred in your question. Hope uh, this is what your question, if I am not wrong. So with 8 candles, can we draw the zone? That you will understand in your next lessons. Actually, you asked your question in lesson 4. I did not introduce any charts in lesson 4. The reason is, I know you guys will make these kind of mistakes. Without completing certain concepts that you are going to learn in the upcoming uh, lessons, if you get into the charts, you will make some wrong conclusions. Your mind will think in a wrong direction. That's why I didn't introduce any charts. The main reason behind introducing practicals in lesson 9 is to stop these kind of questions. What are the doubts you got? To stop that. So don't get into the charts and try to conclude based on the topic you land on lesson 4. Whatever you land until lesson 4, they are very limited concepts you land. They are not good enough to analyze the charts and understand what is really happening in the charts. Zone strength you didn't land. There you will be landing a candle, another candle, follow through candle. All such kind of concepts. And similarly, you didn't learn in lesson before, by the time you get into lesson 4, you didn't learn how many base candles a zone can have. Such kind of zones, we have to ignore them. We should not consider them as a zones. That you didn't learn. So without learning these concepts, if you are trying to make some conclusion from the charts, mostly that leads to wrong way. That is what, see, how wrongly you are getting into this uh, area. Let me read your message. With the observation of drop on uh, December 23 to January 4 or 5. January 4 or 5 means here. This is uh, January 4. Or this is January 5. All these are all base candles. Here you have a real drop candle. January 8th and January 9th. January 5th uh, is the last base candle. During this period, I have observed a downward movement in the price represented by drop candles. Continuation of drop candles followed by base candles. After the initial drop, I have noticed a series of drop candles followed by base candles. Drop candles typically indicate selling pressure. Need not be. Generally, you know what we think. Because there is a very strong drop candle, there is a huge selling pressure. That is one way. See, always you have to understand a coin is having two sides. That is also you should understand. Here also we have other side. Generally what we think the immediate point comes into our mind. There is a huge selling pressure here. That's why prices went down. Maybe there is no demand at all in this area. That's why prices went down. That possibility is also there. The demand is very weak. You don't require a huge selling pressure. Selling pressure means supply. You don't require a huge supply. The small supply itself can make you get such kind of big candle. Why? Because there is a demand is very weak. That possibility is also there. So that is the reason why we don't really concern about how many drop can I mean drop candles are there, any significance. We give some significance immediately after the zone. We have a leg out candle. After that, there is one more leg out candle, follow through candles that I explained in the next chapters. So you didn't listen to those chapters. Without listening to those chapters, you have concluded something in your mind, which I don't want to happen to you guys. 
that's why i don't want you people do any analysis on the charts until the completion of the lesson 8 because you are learning the topics in bits and pieces until lesson 8 all of basic essential concepts you are learning when you are learning the essential concepts your focus should be only on that concept how practically i have to use the concept never think on that combining all these small 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 concepts then you will get into the practicals that is what we did in lesson 9 you know the problem is earlier when i explained these topics i have given uh, uh what to say <coughs> enough time for them before moving to the next topics that way continuously they have been following them but when it comes to you already all these lessons are completed now you have the flexibility to get into the charts or jump into the next lessons by skipping some other lesson i'm not talking about you generally in general how people are doing i'm telling that point when we learn in that way the learning cycle will change when the learning cycle changes your understanding levels are uh, is completely changing and uh, what i am expecting from you to learn sometimes it will be changing so i don't want that to happen so that is the reason why should be very careful get into the charts after complete all these fundamentals otherwise you will get all these kind of doubts actually there is no meaning in discussing these doubts also to be honest because you have written such a big question i have to respect you that's why i am trying to tell you what kind of mistakes you are doing it's not only you similar way some other people also do the mistake they should also if they are listening this video they will also understand what mistakes they are doing maybe you have written the question in the comment maybe they might not have written maybe with some fear or maybe might be thinking what others will think or what i will think that kind of uh, thinking people won't keep the comments but nobody will think anything so you have written this comment you do anybody think anything no in fact i am trying to address this question i am helping you also helping the other people who haven't put their questions see drop candles on jan 17th and 18th subsequently so 17th means this is the one right yeah this is 17th and this is the 18th see this 17th candle is a leg out candle this is a follow through candle what is their sig significance you will understand once you land the concept called zone strength in the next topics that's why until you land i don't want to make some conclusions on these topics now the question is where to consider these recent drop candles on 17th and 18th as significant or if we should focus on the base candles pretending just forget this question by the time you entering into zone strength i didn't remember exact lesson number maybe it could be lesson 7 or 8 i don't know or maybe lesson 6 there you will be learning because you asked this question in lesson 4 so by the time you complete those lessons you will get answers to your questions don't worry just ignore this question and whatever the all the questions you framed in your mind just time being you ignore them just focus only the pattern the pattern is not a full concept it is a bit a small piece it is a piece of concept that piece you need to join with other concepts when you learn the other concepts automatically you will understand how you are joining whatever the piece you have learned in a uh, lesson 4 uh, it is a piece of concept always remember after lesson 8 only you will get clarity because lesson 9 we are getting into practicals we are mixing all these concepts together so concentrate a lot on lesson 9 practical sessions whatever i explained in that practicals not only practicals couple of new concepts also explained there which i didn't explain earlier you will also be learning them because we have four uh, subsections under lesson 9 9.1 to 9.4 lessons are there you have to go through all four lessons without you should not skip any session if you skip a session you will miss some important topics 
new topics which i explained in those con uh, in those uh, videos so next question can we add a filter only nifty 50 and nifty 100 stocks yes we can add already my software is having that feature i already shown you for indicators see i have this i can search in any of these uh, indices the index i can search based on nifty 50 i can search based on nifty next 50 that is 51 to 100 stocks or nifty 100 nifty 200 nifty 500 i can do anything but what i did for supply demand zones i just given uh, complete access to fno stocks nifty 50 stocks also part of fno all nifty 50 stocks are part of fno all nifty 51 to 100 that is nifty next 50 are part of fno they are all there again further see anyway if i see if i want to search stocks stocks near a supply zone and daily time frame how many you got eight stocks you got from these eight stocks you can easily find what are nifty 50 stocks or nifty 100 stocks if you don't have the list of nifty 50 or 100 search in the google you will get the complete list and copy and paste there and search there in that this stock is there or not how much time it will take hardly few seconds time or if not maximum 1 minute time if the list is a very big list and you got 70 stocks or 80 stocks and if you feel uh, which is nifty stock or nifty 50 is there or not you may feel if you feel it is a trouble okay we can understand but the list whatever the filter you are getting a small list you are getting i don't think because i don't want to add further any complications in this by filtering nifty 50 nifty 500 if i want to search only nifty 50 i have the options see here the first uh, the first one in this menu what is the first one in this menu this is the one supply demand zones but i am not exposing this supply demand zone uh, uh, features to the public because it is purely my private all whatever the experiments i want to do everything i developed in this i don't want you people to look into that there i have the indices why i am showing is uh, there are some confidential information is also there that's why i never get into this menu so far so far i have given access to only these two menus top down analysis report and top down analysis strategy builder you can also get into this also this is only daily time frame and above see here all the parameters what you have seen but only limited to daily time frame that is yearly to daily suppose if intraday data is not available i want to make use of this for that but it doesn't have any importance now this is the one we have all the time frames from yearly to 5 minutes and another one i have given access nifty and bank nifty supply demand zone chain not only nifty bank nifty any stock you can chain here already we have the options indices here see here all these indices you can search but anyway this index index is not having any significance in this so far i have given access to sdz chain even we have sdz top down analysis micro report i didn't given access to you all the zones it will display from yearly to today all the zones it will display if i go to this button but currently i didn't give this access to this because certain confidential information is there in the reports which i don't want general public to know about it time being that is for institutions point of view i develop certain things but for your uh, what to say for our uh, retail traders this is a uh, time being you don't have access if i disable those features probably i can show you this but time being you are having access to sdz chain for each time frame which are the time frame that is what you have seen for nifty and bank nifty for the last 2 3 weeks i've been publishing okay c 
I think next question also similar kind of question. Can we get the high quality FNO stocks as well? You need to find if you high quality. What you feel is the high quality. What I feel may not be same as what you feel. If you feel mostly high quality, you may feel you may feel a Nifty Fifty is a high quality or Nifty Hundred stocks are high quality. So anyway, if you if you feel any of the stock is not high quality, ignore it. Simple thing. My report will display. You just ignore that stock. Don't take trade in that stock. That's it. You can consider all Nifty Fifty stocks are high quality, or even Nifty Next Fifty. That is total Nifty Hundred stocks are high quality. Beyond that, any stock is listed in the reports. Maybe you can ignore. Nothing wrong. So let me go to the next question. I already provided answer, but still, why I'm displaying is because I, there, you people should have some learning here. That's why. In yesterday's uh, report, at one o'clock, eleven minutes, forty-eight minutes, uh, I made a mistake, small mistake, and that mistake he assumed is correct. And the software, what it is doing is wrong. So that's why he said the software considered Britannia daily HLQ supply zone as RBD, rally based drop, with two base candles. But you consider DBD, drop based drop with one base candle. That point he didn't write, but that is what one base candle. I also can't understand it why software considered it as a base because. That first base candle, according to software, is looks like medium size leg candle, and its body is higher than 50 percent. See, remember, more than 50 percent for medium size candle, you cannot consider it as a leg candle. I also told you, more than 75 percent body for medium candle only should be considered as a leg candle. Then what about the candles? Between 50% and 70%, 75%. Suppose candle body is 51% or 52% or 60% or 65%. That you have to take a decision by applying your intelligence. Depending on the situation in that zone, your mind should convince. If it convinces as a base, you take it as a base. If your mind convinces it as a leg candle, you take it as a leg candle. It is all your depending on your experience. You will take a decision. There is no such rule that you have to consider it as only base or leg. So that means between between fifty percent to seventy five percent medium size candles, they can be qualified as a leg candle or they can be qualified as a base candle. This is a new point you are learning now. But which one you have to give? You have to take a decision. And this software is having intelligence. See the my reply here. Actually, I have mistaken. While explaining, I'd rather zone with two rally candles. Actually, what I told only I said uh, it is a drop base drop. Actually, it is rally two base candles and drop. So I have drawn with rally two base candles and drop. But while explaining, uh, I'm you know quickly. Uh, sometimes I'm explaining uh, quickly. I say okay, I, I might ignore some one or one or two candles. Sometimes, not every time. Rarely it happens. So that's why that mistake happened. But actually, that mi mistake looks like a correct concept. That's why it is con conveying wrong. That's why I wanted to explain this concept. This is a special scenario. What is that? Candles, medium-sized candles between body between 50% to 75%. See, below 50, we are saying base candle. Above 75, we are ca saying a leg candle. But between 50 and 75, what we have to call? You have to call either base candle or leg candle. Either one you can consider. Okay, which is more valid to consider? Your experience will tell at the time. Once your experience grows, you will be in a position to take the decision. Then how software is considering? That's why I have given this explanation. See here, this point is very important. Software algorithm is quite intelligent, and the medium-sized candles having body between. 50% and 75% it identifies either as a base candle or a leg candle depending on the requirements or depending on the situation 
that best suits the situation. So depending on the situation, software will consider whether it is a base candle or leg candle. It is having such kind of intelligence, our software. So that is the reason why. Let me show you in the chart, you will get clarity. This is Britannia. Daily chart. So Britannia Industries. So this is the one. What our software identified? This is a rally candle. Software identifies this is the first base candle. This is the second base candle. It considered both as a medium size candles and then drop candle. This is the drop candle. And when you really look into this candle, this candle is having 52% body. 52% this candle. Even then our software recognized this as a base candle. Perfect. Because we, we, see if it is 75% then only software will identify this as a leg candle. Maybe 60, 70 also it may consider depending on the situation. Software algorithm works differently depending on the situations. So time being it is rally base drop. This is the way we have to draw the zone. Supply zone. So this candle is also part of this base. Yesterday what I did just quickly when I am explaining, I said a drop base a drop. Because you know while drawing this zone, this is not covered inside. So quickly I said okay drop base drop, just ignore this. And uh, uh, when our member looked into this, he calculated the body is just above 50. And he, because I said this is a drop base drop, then immediately he also assumed this is a valid base, uh, leg candle. Actually, if it is a valid leg candle, body should be 75%. Sometimes our software also might consider this is a leg candle. Suppose if this is not there, maybe it would, it would have considered this as a leg candle. That's why depending on the situation, it will change. If the zone is like this, if I would have drawn like this, yesterday I would have told rally to base candles and drop. Because I didn't extend the zone, generally when we enable this magnet, it doesn't allow us to draw. If you are drawing again, see here, it is ignoring this. So that's why we draw the zone rally. Anyway, we assume this candle is part of this. But quickly when I am explaining, I said drop base drop. That is a mistake from my side, not from the software. Software worked perfectly. It is in a perfect manner it identified. It is a rally, two base candles and a drop candle. Hope you got clarity about it. It's an important question. The important point you land here is be between 50% and 75%. When the body is between 70 per 50 and 75 percent, how we should consider the medium size candles? There, depending on your experience, you people automatically get experience. Why I didn't tell in the earlier lessons? Because they are the fundamental concepts. Exceptional concepts, if I introduce, you people will get a lot of confusion. First, learn the basic concepts. Get perfection. Then, slowly, these exceptional concepts, you will understand one by one, once your experience grows. So probably who completed the courses, by this time you will get clarity when to use. It's, it's your wish. There is no objection. Still you can consider this as a drop candle, this is a leg candle, base candle and drop candle. Still you can consider, nothing wrong. But because earlier there is a leg can uh, what what to say leg this is a leg candle rally candle software it took the decision okay let me consider this as a base and this is also base two base and drop candle okay fine so these are the oh one more question 
what is this sir can you please explain about the 5 minutes bull trap seen at uh, 25 10 hours in that video 25 10 is the time stamp in the video and uh, how you identify the zone to enter the trade see here currently did you complete the course or still you are attending the training lessons if you are attending the training lessons forget about this trap sandal anyway you will be learning as part of your uh, third phase of the training program i will be explaining in detail but for already completed who completed the course uh, supply and demand zones and uh, doing trades based on high liquidity zone concepts already they are having some experience they are so somewhere outside the land they are having some experience now currently they are trading for their point of view i already gave an overview about uh, bull trap and bear trap in one of the earlier videos and i kept that video in this playlist terminology of neo stock supply demand zone report see many doubts when you get your doubts you get clarification either in the q and a session or if it is a technical related concepts you will get that answer in the terminology of neo stock supply demand zone reports see earlier what i did in this playlist i searched for volume right now what you do in your browser search window this, not youtube search in your browser search this is your uh, browser chrome browser search there i am typing uh, trap see already on 7th march 2024 aggressive trades bull trap high liquidity demand and supply zones actually I remember one more video also i placed earlier maybe in the heading i didn't keep then it's very difficult to find check in the video description of this what you can do open these videos one by one in the video description go to the video description in the video description i would have explain i would have given the list the bull trap so one of the videos i explained how to draw how to identify bull trap or whatever you have given i am not sure 7th march video this is the one you got the doubt right in the bull trap in the heading i have given the here i didn't explain because this is an important video for the people who wants to focus on this analysis i kept it here so what you can do here it is not there bull trap or bear trap it is not there so my suggestion is uh, just go through these videos See the problem, you know, the length is very limited. This title YouTube is allowing only 99 characters. Beyond 99 characters, it does not take the title. That's why I have a limited space. Every time it is not possible for me to type all the topics. But in the video description, YouTube has given enough space. Maybe over 20,000 plus characters. I don't know, even more. They have given the space. so that's why all the topics generally what i do in the video description i will mention in one of these videos definitely you can find a bull trap or bear trap listen that video there i have given a overview if you completed the supply demand zone training course somewhere outside and having some some experience earlier experience in using supply demand zones then only you get into this otherwise ignore it time being anyway in lesson 20 once i explain about these high liquidity zones all its supporting concepts i'll be explaining in through multiple videos because in lesson 20 multiple videos will be there that is the first uh, first uh, lesson of our third phase of our training lesson 19 will be completing uh, probably actually i'm supposed to complete lesson 19 during this week but i postponed to next week
so this week you will not be having any further training lessons okay so this is about uh, and we have one more question thanks sir i have a general question can we create a huge wealth in time span of 10 to 12 years by doing intraday trading using supply demand zone knowledge or it is just substitute of 9 to 5 jobs where major people earn 550k or 1000k in they are having high skills so basically you are asking can we use for next 10 to 12 years and create a huge health with the help of supply demand zone price action that to intraday trading you are saying that is one question next question you are saying or is it a substitute of 9 to 5 jobs that means you will be working in 9 to 5 and in between you will be using supply demand zone for your second income so this is what you are saying so here the point you have to understand stock market is a high risk investment area your risk is high reward is also high we should not forget that point there are bad days you lose huge wealth that is the reason why people has to follow very strict risk management system many people see in the first question someone asked me like every month 20 trades whatever i am earning again that money i will invest further like that if i do we get a huge money why tatas and birlas they are not investing that is the question first question we discuss right that is what he asked we should not think like that risk management is different you can't invest the, every money you are getting again to make your money double that is not the right way of investment see your capital whatever the capital maybe you may get that money from stock market you you got a good money but you cannot invest that money again into the stock market you have to diversify your investments when you diversify stock market is one area maybe if stock market gives you good money at some point of time say for example at some point of time it doesn't mean the same money again you have to invest in stock market you have to diversify to some other investments this is how the risk management works you have to follow the risk management concepts properly see i am not the right person to talk about all these concepts because i am an expert in software development expert in supply demand zone things but the other investment point of view if you look for investment point of view where to invest the real estate or maybe fixed deposits or bonds or gold okay there are several things are there but i am not an expert uh, to talk about all those things and give you uh, the suggestions but what i can tell you is uh, you have to follow strict risk management and then only you have to plan your investment uh, uh different options but everything investing in stock market and getting all the money through stock market if you plan like that that is a going to be a wrong investment people won't do like that and because not following proper risk management many people failed in stock market because of not following proper risk management the biggest advantage we have is uh, supply demand zone is having a very excellent risk management related concepts inbuilt concept you know where you are going to take entry you know what is your stop loss you know what is your target before taking the trade itself you know what is your potential loss that is your risk potential loss in case if analysis goes how much loss am i going to get you know well in advance if you are able to bear that loss you go for the trade 
if you feel that is too much i can't take the trade because i'll be losing good amount of money if you feel don't take the trade simple such kind of options are not there see previously we discussed about mscd right mscd is not telling you where to exit it is not telling you what is your target it is just telling you okay i generated a signal now you can take but the signal is really uh, we should consider or not people added some extra masala into that particular concept what is that extra masala volumes this is the way the indicator concepts are built but demand and supply zone is not built like that it is it was built in a accurate and perfect way having everything entire risk management in this particular system that's why if you would have looked into our course see at different levels i introduced risk management related concepts actually when you look into the supply demand zone price action uh, training programs people introduce this risk management at the last chapter but i didn't do the, like that in your third lesson itself i introduced the risk management third or uh, Uh, fourth lesson one of these lessons we discussed then again phase 2 again once again i introduced in the zone confluence now lesson 19th again the next upcoming lesson that is a real risk management concept combining all these things and you will be learning a very powerful concept position sizing during this apart from stop buffers and entry buffer you will be learning the most powerful concept position sizing you have all these inbuilt concepts in supply demand zone price action losing your money is uh, the chances of losing your money is very less the chances of getting success is more how i will explain in lesson 19 with examples a uh, practical examples i will show you so when you have such kind of concepts properly you have to plan your trades you should not get tempted because many people you know what they do the greediness because of greediness they get tempted and they take deviations from their concepts they are supposed to strictly follow the moment you take the deviation you get a big hit whatever the capital you probably you reserved majority of the capital that day you will be losing and soon you will be out of the stock market so such kind of issues i mean such kind of decisions wrong decisions we should not take for all these wrong decisions the reason is greedy greediness we want to earn more money more money more money never think if you are getting the money take the money that's it you should never think that i have to earn this much money whatever the money it is giving just keep on taking taking that's it think that way see there is a difference between earning the money and taking the money earning the money is more ambitious at the time you make more mistakes taking the money you are following the system whatever system is giving you you are just taking it so you are following everything when whatever system is giving you are taking so at the time you are in more in safe compared to the earlier scenario and based on uh, these situations only your psychology plays the major role human psychology because if your psychology is changed what happens you will become more greedy if your psychology is within your control you will not be you follow according to the system what system is giving you follow that generally you know what happens when you become more greedy you feel like to uh, in take more higher risks than you are supposed to uh, the, than you are expected to take the risk you are expected to take certain risk but you are taking more risk that day you will get a hit and you lose lot of money so that is the reason why don't think in this way when you when you have when you are into the stock market when you are into the full pledged stock market what you can do you invest and even full pledged stock market you have to diversify only day trading is not the only thing apart from day trading you should also keep positions in uh, 
swing trading you should also keep positions in cash trading this is the way you need to diversify and you should plan your trades you should not say only day trading because day trading we gives more money and if you plan like that you will get a major hit diversification is very very important within the stock market also diversification beyond the stock market also diversification if you have good funds suppose assume you are having 10 crores with you invest only 1 crore in stock market remaining 9 crores you diversify something towards your uh, uh, other uh, investment options because i am not getting into that area whatever the other options are there just diversify again within that one crore stock market whatever you are investing there again you diversify some amount for cash trading some amount for swing trading some amount for uh, day trading this is the way you have to manage your investments suppose you are working in the industry and you are having a salary like you asked between 50k and uh, 100k don't uh, uh, resign your job and come and get into the stock market is a blunder it is a big blunder never do that when you are already having job focus on that maybe you may not be in a position to take intraday trades but you can plan your positional trades or swing trades or cash trades you can plan that way you can manage whenever you get the time on the day you can focus only on the day trading if there are any opportunities are available to you or take the help of your family members let them train anyway we have a free training programs are there make use of that maybe your spouse or if suppose if she is working uh, i mean uh, she is uh, not working probably you can train you can train her you can help her you can let her uh, build the skill once she is ready then you can uh, with with her help you can plan your intraday trades that way you can do that actually nowadays women are more active than men in stock market and moreover they are taking better de- decisions than us such a concentration they will be having you know always we think about uh, several things our mind will be always focusing on multiple multitasking but you know women when they work they concentrate exactly on that particular when they are doing stock market their entire focus will be on that they they will also do multitasking no doubt in that but at that time when they are doing when they sit into the stock market they focus completely on that remaining time they will do lot of multitasking activities than what we are doing but many times we do multitasking in our mind that is the problem and they do lot of householding works physical works they do lot of multitasking activities they do in parallel but we our always our mind will be thinking of several things in between lot of dreams will be there in our mind that is the biggest uh, dangerous thing what is a dream okay by next 10 years or 5 years i should have this many uh, rupees maybe 10 crores 100 crores that is the way we will be there in the dreams even i am also not exceptional in that including me i am telling you guys that is our problem generally because see we feel we have more responsibilities in earning the money so with that intention always we think multiple things and sometimes or not sometimes many times we get into the wrong direction so this is the reality we have to accept i don't know whether you got uh, i gave you the uh, right answer what you are expecting from me i don't know but the reality you have to accept so these are all the questions uh, that are asked uh, 
during uh, this week and last week hope you got the clarity let us all meet again in our next uh, q and a session thank you